Qatar, the venue of the 22 FIFA World Cup, the country of wonders for visitors. It's worth visiting more than once in your lifetime. But what are the visa rules for this Middle East country? Watch this video till the end to learn all about it. Hey everyone, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. Welcome to the best source for visa information around the world. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell first things first. You shouldn't miss any updates. Download the free cheat sheet my team at the Visa Library has prepared for Qatar tourist visa from the link in the description. It's really helpful along the way. Now let's get to know Qatar tourist visa. Let me ask you this, what is Qatar visa policy? The country has provided a visa-free permit to some countries. Countries like the US, UK, Japan and other ones can enter Qatar without the visa. The duration of a stay is up to their nationality. How to know you're among these visa-waived countries? Visit the Visa Library article from the link in the description to know this list. You could also visit the Qatar Ministry of Interior website from the link in the description. Visa rules are up to change by political situation. You would better check the Qatar Ministry of Interior website after checking your nationality on Visa Library article to ensure. Insert your nationality and country of residence. The website says whether you are among the visa waived countries or not. If not, it will tell you the type of available visa options by your nationality. Alright then. If you need a visa to enter Qatar, let's know what are the options. The first one is Qatar visa on arrival. A few countries can travel to the country and get a visa at the airport. Right now, citizens of 90 countries are eligible to receive the visa on arrival. Find their list in the visa library article from the link in the description again. The duration of a stay for these countries is different. It depends on their nationality again. To get the visa on arrival, you must be eligible. Here are the eligibility principles. Number one, you must be a national of the approved countries. Only national of these countries can get visa on arrival. You must have a passport from them as well. Number two is the validity of your passport. It must be valid for at least six months at the time of application. Number three is a confirmed return ticket to your home country or another destination. You must show that you intend to leave Qatar after the visa expiry. Number four is the hotel reservation. You should reserve your hotel before getting to Qatar and show the proof to the officials at the port of entry. The reservation can be with any place or through any agent you want. But citizens of India, Pakistan and Iran must reserve a hotel through the Discover Qatar website. You can find the link in the description. Number five is receiving Ehtaraz pre-approval. Travelers must register on the Ehtaraz website or mobile application before getting to the country. The approval is required to get the visa on arrival. Are you wondering what Ehtaraz registration is? I'll explain it here. Qatar officials introduced the Ehtaraz pre-registration service in 2021. Registration is required for travelers who don't have a Qatar ID or passport. The service is to ease the arrival process for foreign visitors. Travelers must submit the related documents through the Ehtaraz service. You don't need to take a PCR test for Ehtaraz registration, but you must present a negative COVID-19 test to the airline to get on board. Requirement number six for visa arrival is COVID-19 test. You must take a PCR test or rapid antigen test no more than 48 hours before getting on the flight. The test is not required for the Ehtaraz registration as I explained, but you need it to get on your flight. Every traveler aged six and older must take the COVID-19 test. You should install the Ehtaraz mobile application on your phone as well. You'll need it during your stay and for entering the country. It's provided in the Play Store and App Store. Number seven is proof of having enough funds for your stay in Qatar. It applies to the nationals of a few countries like India and Pakistan. The least required fund is 5,000 Qatari Rial, the country's currency on your credit card or debit card. For debit card holders, a three months bank statement is also required. The card must be under the traveler's name or the family's head. When you apply for Ehtaraz registration, the photo of the credit card and bank statement must be applied. Uploaded. Remember this point, upload a scanned form of your documents to Ehtaraz service for at least three days before getting to Qatar. Passport, return or onward ticket, vaccination certificate, hotel reservation, international credit or debit card with bank statements for Indian and Pakistani nationals. When you arrive in Qatar, you will receive your visa on arrival. 
If your country is not eligible for visa on arrival, you can apply for a Qatar tourist visa. However, the Qatar tourist visa is still suspended. You may not apply for it until further notice. We'll explain the requirements and the application process. You can use the information when the program opens and apply for it. You must submit the scanned colored copy of these supporting documents. Number one is your passport. A scanned copy of the bio or picture page is needed. Bear an essential point to your mind. Your passport must be valid for at least six months from the date you enter Qatar. Number two is a passport size photo of yourself. Number three is a purchased airline ticket. Remember one point. If you're a passenger of Qatar Airways, you won't need to submit a ticket copy. Number four is the hotel confirmation voucher or reservation. Submit the documents for the place you'll stay in Qatar. In case you are a national of the JCC, Gulf Cooperation Council, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, you must provide JCC resident visa, JCC ID card, your sponsor ticket, and passport copy. This was the list of supporting documents. How should you apply for a tourist visa? Stay a bit longer. Visit the Qatar Visa Service website. As I told you, the service is still suspended, so the website is not working as we are preparing this video, but it will start to work in the future. The link is in the description. Sign up or sign in with your email address and password. Complete the forms with your basic personal information. Name, nationality, date of birth, contact details. Pick the duration of stay you want. The system will provide the appropriate visa with the provided information. Then, you must submit the scanned form of documents I mentioned earlier. After that, you will be directed to the online payment page. The system only accepts payment from a visa or MasterCard debit or credit cards. It might change in the future. No one knows. After the payment, you will get the status update in your email address. After 48 to 96 hours, you will get the response to your visa in your email address. You would better apply as early as possible for your visa. But the latest time you can apply is 4 days before your entrance date and the earliest time is 90 days before your trip. The responsible center for visa processing is VFS Global. They complete all the process from A to zero. If you may not apply for Qatar e-visa, visa on arrival, visit the Qatar Embassy, Consulate or Visa Center in your home country. They'll tell you what to do. But it's unlikely. Qatar officials have eased visa processing to attract the tourists to the country. It's not a coincidence they are hosting 22 FIFA World Cup. Alright then. This was all you must know about Qatar visa policy, on arrival visa and e-visa. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. My team at the visa library will answer them. If you want us to make a video about the Qatar visa or a related topic, just tell us. We'll get what you want. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and ensure to like this video before you leave. Don't forget to get the PDF file my colleagues have prepared for you from the description. Until the next video, thank you all for watching.